channel it is post Christmas post New Year's pre Valentine's Day and I'm kind of a hot mess back here I've just started to kind of pull the things together that kind of will grace behind me I got some blues got a little bit of Valentine's Day just kind of a little hot mess right now but have a small haul to do today um, video that I've been meaning to do my phone got destroyed Christmas happened, COVID happened, uh, and I'm just slowly digging out. So I have a small haul from a couple of resellers that I really enjoy. Um, and then I also have this like, just clamshell of goodies that I'm gonna go through with you uh, from one of the local antique stores. I just saw this on a shelf and thought, oh my goodness, how fun. Uh, it's like a treasure hunt within the treasure hunt, if you know what I mean. So the first item that I have to show you is uh, this great brooch. So I've been buying up brooches and I don't actually wear brooches. So I gotta, I gotta deal with that. But um, I got this great brooch from uh, Kitchy Cat. And I will um, link Kathy's channel down below, but got this great brooch. I have someone in mind for it. Um, so that's my haul from uh, from Kathy. Very small. Um, and then um, another one of my favorite resellers, uh, Tim, that over the years had both a jewelry and a uh, vintage uh, sale. So I got a couple things from him. The first thing I got were these great Hazel Atlas um, mugs. They're clear. Check the handle out. I got a set of four. They have this great, um, I don't know, they just, yeah. Uh, they they have like a, a quad base. They're just really cool. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with them, but they were just such a great deal. Um, so I got a set of four of these beautiful little cups, and I'm going to be thinking about how to use them. Because um, I'm thinking this is a little teeny tiny amount of coffee. Uh, I like way more coffee than this in the morning, um, but these are a Hazel Atlas mug, uh, I do believe. Uh, and so, beautiful, and I will figure out something to do with them. Uh, but also, Tim has been selling um, some uh, vintage jewelry as well. And so, I got my hands on a couple of brooches. Um, this is my style all day long. Uh, so I got this beautiful enameled brooch. Uh, from Tim Sale. Love it. And I got its partner in crime. Uh, also around the same time. Be back. Uh, and this one was really, uh, I'm starting to really dig orange. And so I'm starting to just dive into the orange, uh, the uh, orange enjoyment. I'm just going to dive in. I love orange. I'm just going to start buying it. I'm just going to just deal with it. So, and, oh, what's this now? All right. So this one, this is a JJ uh, vintage uh, fish. And everybody was kind of making fun of it that it looked a little goldfishy. Um, but it's great. Great brooch. And it comes with something and I'm not sure what else it comes with. So this is a surprise to me, let's see. Uh, but the costume jeweler uh, is JJ. Is this for anything in here? What is in here? Oh, oh yes, I also got this. I have, I think my mother's in mind for this. But this is a beautiful, I'm glad I didn't just like throw this on the ground. Um, about a painted porcelain? Maybe? A little brooch. So that's also very, very nice as well. Hand painted. Gorgeous. And that's uh, gorgeous back. So um, I got all of that stuff from Tim over the years and I will link him down below. Now 
for a start on this clamshell. We'll go through this fairly fast. And if you see anything in here you really wanna, wanna have, I've kind of taken out a few items that I uh, wanted and mostly they were for my son. So there were a few toys in here which I, I napped for my son. Um, but the first thing I will pull is this little baby. So cute. The eyes do sleep when you put them down. <laughs> uh, anyway, he comes right out of his sack, so he's ready. Ooh, sorry, Pat. Uh, he's ready for um, some clothing. Um, but I got this little baby. I got this sweet pair of sewing scissors with um, the shell. They say fiber, fiberloid on the back. And they're showing signs of seeing better days, but very cute little sewing scissors. Class of 73. That's before my time. Um, this is a key saver. So pretty sure this is filled with air. If your keys are on it, presumably they'll float in the ocean. Nice. Couple of butterflies. They'd be great for crafting. I may pass these along to my friend Helen Booty. Let's see. I also have... A little, looks like a, um, a little ornament, a little blue ornament. These are gonna make some great package toppers too. What a fun little. Um, then this one was actually interesting. I've never seen anything like it. I've seen all the Fenton glass boots, but I've never actually seen a porcelain one. Uh, and this one's kind of cute. There's no markings on the bottom. I haven't done any research on it yet, but it's bisque. So if you don't like that feel, you're not gonna like that boot. Um, the, these made me laugh when I saw them because um, they're a magnetic bookmark. So there's magnets on both sides and you kind of clip over the top of your book. And you don't have to fold down the corners and stuff. My mom really loves these, so I'm actually going to give these to my mommy. And what else have I got in here? With this sweet little kitty. I'm not actually sure. Oh, look at her face. Oh, oh. I'm not actually sure what this is made of. Hmm. Doesn't feel like plastic, but I'm not quite sure. Anyway, little kitty stepping out. Very cute. There's like a mix of like, okay, here's an Atlantic Braves. Um, all right. Okay. All right. Um, this says 18 inch G F. I haven't actually gotten into this, so I'm, Presuming. Oh, it's just a little chain. 18 inch gold chain. Well, we'll say gold esque. That's actually pretty cute. Um, see if I can find something in here to put on it. This I thought was really cute. It's a vintage brooch. Little hat. Little hat. And it's got little donglies there as well. That's pretty cute. Uh, got any more brooches in here? Oh yes, I do have one more brooch. It's a cute little brooch, a little Christmas tree brooch. And remember, I got all this for seven bucks, so I'm thinking this is a pretty good deal. This was very nice. It's a little compact. It is not marked. Um, yeah, it is not marked. And the mirror inside is a little bit messed up. So, but great little compact fully functional. And I don't know if you can see that sort of mother of pearl looking flower. And it actually doesn't say anything. I thought it said something on the back. Um, but it actually doesn't. Um, another kitty. Meow, meow. This guy's plastic. Random plastic chef snowman. Okay. Another set of scissors. This, I believe, is a pocket knife slash can opener. Generic. Nothing really amazing there. This is a crazy button. Walk for sauce. That's funny. Oh man, walk for sauce. Uh, and then this is a Liberty coin. One cent. Not a coin. This is a 
great little um, measuring apparatus. Um, again, modern, but yeah, you know. <laughs> this is a man coin purse. Is that what this is? Not sure. I guess so. It's a faux leather. Uh, it's from O'Connor's in San Francisco. What else we got here? Oh yeah, this is very cute too. <laughs> this is a powder blue, Pennsylvania Dutch country. Uh, sewing kit. Yay! Uh, but the snap buttons are my favorites. Can you imagine carrying snap buttons around with you everywhere? Wow. Oh. We don't do that, this, that anymore. <laughs> uh, then, uh, whoa, this may be the tiniest pocket knife I have ever seen in my entire life. I think it's itty bitty, it's so tiny. Another button, Krakow in Poland. Great. Uh, vintage advertising or vintage um, made in the USA. Noisting. Noisting. I'm not fam familiar with uh, American um, office supply. Vintage office supply. Um, Red Hat Society. I also have a, a Zippo lighter. It's like very, <laughs> it has nothing inside. It's just a Zippo Keeper at the moment. It's pretty interesting. Man, I'm getting down to the bottom and I, I haven't actually seen some of this stuff before. Okay, so now we've got some random coins. This looks like a medallion of religious nature. Francis of Assisi, protector of animals. All right. Uh, and I'm not Catholic, so I actually don't know what this is for. This is, looks like an angel. Maybe it's a guardian angel token or something. Not sure. Not sure what that's all about. Um, and then we've got some pesos in here. And that's cool. Like, it just keeps, it's, it's never ending, this little box. Uh, and then this is cute. What did I figure this was? I, I, I did look at this. This is Estee Lauder. Must be a little freebie for buying perfume or something. Uh, and then this, I couldn't figure out what it was. Um, and I kind of like tried to pull the bottom apart and I'm afraid I kind of messed it up a little bit. But this turns, uh, so if you know what this is, let me know. I wondered if it was a stamp, um, but I don't think it's wide enough for a stamp. Oh, hey, <laughs> I have, I now have a measuring tape. It's only like, it's not even an inch wide, like here. So I'm not sure it could be for stamps. Um, so if you know what this is, let me know. I'd love to know what it is. It's made of wood. Uh, cute little pillbox to you. Does this one say what it's from? No, not at all. So a little, little pill, um, pillbox, a little dual compartment pillbox, AM, PM. That's pretty cute. We have a dolphin pin, a set of nail clippers. This is like your hygiene product. Like every, every, you know, every sort of um, emergency one could have. Uh, you need, you need to measure something. You need to tack something on the wall. This is like the emergency kit. Um, yeah. And then these look like a set of earrings. It's so random what's in here. Uh, let me see. A little package of earrings. Let me see if I can pull these out. But I thought for seven bucks, it's kind of fun to open. And, uh, there's a couple things in here that are, are, uh, useful. And my son ran away with toys, so, um, they happened. So this is the little earrings. Nothing special, I didn't think. But kind of cute. So there's the earrings. 
Uh, and then the other two bits in here, I just feel like are kind of just, I think it's a wine charm maybe. It's a little wine charm. And then this random heart-shaped um, charm. So, so that's my haul. That was my $7 surprise, like kitchen, kitchen drawer kind of thing. My favorite things out of it, I think, are this little brooch here. It's probably one of my favorites. I absolutely adore this little kitty now that I've kind of like had some time to get to know him. Um, and then I'm curious to find out what this is all about. No markings whatsoever on this guy. So that's my haul. Thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have a need for scissors or pocket knives or nail clippers, I'm your girl. <laughs> Until next time. Bye-bye.